Hey there everyone, it's Maria Young here and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new to this channel, welcome and thank you so much for joining us here today. Now guys, I gotta tell you, I am super de duper de thrilled. I mean, way beyond the moon excited to be able to share with you some footage that has never been seen before of the Tamayami International Orchid Festival and also what I consider the wonderland of tropics and exotics. So many tropical plants there. Oh my gosh, unbelievable guys, I'm telling you. So guys, I was so disheartened to discover that I was missing the files and the footage of the Tamayami International Orchid Festival because I had captured so many moments that were up close and personal, some behind the scene footage that I just really wanted to be able to share with you guys. And I gotta tell you, I was really in very low spirits. But today guys, today i found the footage and today i'm gonna be able to share that footage with you guys now i do gotta tell you there's so much footage i'm gonna have to break it down with part one part two part three but guys i'm telling you it is well worth the view you guys gotta watch it with that being said let's go ahead and take you on this tamayami international orchid and plant adventure <laughs> And the very first stop that we're going to be making in this series is to the preview party which is as behind the scenes as it's going to get folks and i was so happy because i did have a vipp pass courtesy of the moats family thank you so much and also i was able to provide a lucky winner of which was sandra O. Oh, and she came and i met with her there i mean we had a blast of a time so without further ado let me go ahead and show you what the preview party is all about oh yeah and we're headed to the Tam Miami International Orchid Festival and our very first stop is going to be to the preview party where you guys know we're gonna be partying like it's our birthday go shorty it's your birthday go shorty it's your birthday and just to give you guys a little bit more detail on exactly what the preview party is all about it's exactly what the name states it's a preview party where it actually allows all of the attendees to preview everything that's there before the actual sale dates begin so this is the day before the official start of the 10 Miami International Festival so what that means it it actually allows people to preview and also see all of the products that are available and they can also purchase one day in advance from the time the sale actually starts. So for all of the orchid enthusiasts that really are on it when it comes to getting all of the orchids that they want, this is a great way to guarantee that, that those orchids will not sell out before you can get there. It is quite a party as well, where orchid loving folks are getting together, enjoying their time there. There's a little bit of food, a little bit of wine, and a whole lot of a good time. I can't think of a better way to get the Tam Miami International Orchid Festival party started. Let's get this party started right, 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 right. folks we have arrived and as you can see it is pitch dark we were stuck in traffic but we have made it and I'm so happy so excited and so glad and now if we could just find out 
where we need to go. But we're here, guys. We're here. I think that fella's lost, too. Let's follow the lost guy. So it appears everyone is lost, and we're actually following that guy in that cart. He knows where it's at. Well, here we are. The mystery of it all, guys. And it unravels. And as you can see, the parking lot is full, guys. Absolutely full. Everyone taking advantage of the opportunity to attend this preview party. Okay guys, so here we are. We finally arrived. As you can see, it's very dark. It took us four hours to get here, so you can imagine I am super excited to get in here, see what it's all about, and I'm taking you guys with me. And I can hear the music jamming. So yeah, they're having a good old time in there, and we are actually a little bit late. We got caught in standstill traffic, guys. So yeah, it's just a blessing to be here at this point. I'm just so happy. Okay. I'm, I'm Bart Modes, I'm the host. Okay. Thank you. Where's Kathy? Kathy's supposed to come here. I bet she is. I bet she is. Yeah, uh, Bart Modes. Do you want to get some more nerves? You got, you got some no, more nerves? No, you grab real quick. You good? Hi. Oh, man! We made it! I'm so glad you did. Hi. Here's Bart! Here's Maria Young. And here we are guys at the Tam Miami International Orchid Festival and this is the preview party. Cheers! Uh, we have Carlos from Sunset Valley. Let's see. Who else have I seen? Nice to see you. Happy New Year to you too. Busy day, huh? You're gonna have to show me. You got the best in class. Wow. Oh, yeah. They got second place. They got a third. They pretty much got all their places in the. These are all yours? Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. Uh, they got nominated for uh, Grand Champion. That one's not tomorrow. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Hey. We both want to thank you yeah. very much for, for that honor. Um, it really means a lot to her. I know what she's gone through to get to where she is, and um, yeah, it's just a tremendous honor that you you gave her, and, and hey, we really well, appreciate it. She's done so much to support the orchid community. Uh, you deserve it. Thank you. Are you getting ready for the camera? <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I'm having so much fun here. I don't even know where to start. Just so many things going on. And so many orchids. It's so amazing. Look, we even have entertainment. Orchid lady. <laughs> Unbelievable prices. Now this is neat, guys. Look at that. Beautiful structure in this display. Wow. They're taking it to the next level here with how they're displaying their plants. Is that not gorgeous, guys? Oh, yeah. So, who is this? Water orchids. Water orchids. And where are they coming from? Taiwan. Taiwan. Nice. 
So a lot of species? Yeah. Okay. There's all species here. All right. Wow. And some are all that's all species. Take a look, see. So all of these are Taiwan. Some, some mixture, some species, some hybrid, yeah. Wow, lots and lots of yummy goodies right here. Look at that. And look at this, guys. Variegated right here. This is an arachnus variety. Megioi, right there. Only for $20. What a great deal on that. And look at this. Brassavola amethyst. This is a Brassavola cupulata times with a Lelia purpurata right here. And these come bags right here and again twenty dollars for that very beautiful great prices on these guys I'm seeing all of them are twenty dollars I believe look at that just quite a great variety right here oh check that one out right there that splash petal oh my goodness how intense are those colors with that very clean pristine white oh wow that is a wowie orchid right there with great contrast. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, look at this. Tropical foliage plants right here. Allocations, I see, very beautiful. Oh, this is the stingray, look at that. Gorgeous plants right here. Very beautiful. Ooh, look at this. I believe this is a gloriosum, perhaps. McDowell, I don't know. This one right here is the Tainted Lady. Anthurium, oh my gosh, lots of beautiful tropical foliage plants right here. A lot of house plants. Definitely gorgeous. Crocodilus fern right here. Check that out. Lots of different types of ferns. Just gorgeous, guys. Just gorgeous. I gotta figure out who has this both because I definitely see some things that I do like. Okay, so I think I found some plants that I want. Not saying this is all, but guess what? There's no vendor. Well, hopefully he'll come back because I want to get them so bad. These displays, guys, I gotta tell you, are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, cream of the crop orchids right here. Take a look at this. So stunning, guys. So beautiful. And that's what that is right there. Gorgeous. All sorts. Right here. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Nice spray of small blooms giving such a spectacular and abundant flower display right here. Okay guys, so take a look at this. Look, fragrances, perfumes, and they all smell like orchids. So here we have some form of encyclia type, vanilla, and also maxillaria tinifolia. So indeed, these must smell really, really good. Maybe I can uh, persuade them to let me take a sniffy with me. Oh God, okay. Okay. And I'm here's rebel. Caleb, check him out. All grown up, he's quite a rebel. Look at that guy. Bad boy, bad, bad boy. boy, bad boy. <laughs> what you gonna what do? You gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> and here we are at Gardino Nursery right here. Check out their booth. And look at all the stuff they got. She, she may not leave here tonight, she'll just... <laughs> I think I did all of my shopping here, guys. I got some rare ones, and I can't wait to show you. Thank you guys so much, Gardino Nursery. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, guys, so many orchids. I cannot believe it. Look at that. How can you even choose? How can you choose? So hard. I believe this right here is an angraecum. Tomorrow star perhaps, or maybe Crestwood. But look at that. Look at those buds. And when they bloom, oh, they're so gorgeous. And all sorts of tropical plants, guys. These are Talantias right here. A whole assortment of them. Oh my gosh. You will never run out of these gorgeous Talantias. Look at that. So many varieties, guys. And when I say Talantias of all sorts, I mean it, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at the flowers. Look at that, guys. Just really neat. And these are some of the easiest plants to grow. And look here, we have some Ripsalis. Look at that. All sorts of plants. And this, guys, is Chapa Flora. And you are seeing their exotic varieties right here. Always have several. And look, this is the Black ZZ plant which is very popular. 25 Buccaroonies right here. Just beautiful bromeliads and Talanzias and tropical plants. The things that you do, you know, you, you take something that you know your imagination and see how it works. Well, see, the thing is, I'm outside of the box. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, I'm an artist, so mm -hmm. I think in a crazy way mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I think about it, and then I want to do it. Mm -hmm. I got to try it to see, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. however far fetched mm -hmm. it is. I want to see if it'll work. Mm -hmm. And then when it does, I'm like, oh, I got to share with everyone. You know, that's so nice. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm, I'm learning so much. When you talk, you talk in a position of talking about it but from someone like me I kind of learned from you myself and I'm not really into it I'm into it because she's into it but I have learned a lot just by you know helping her out and coming here and spending money <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have plants mm -hmm. and then they don't do well because mm -hmm. they don't build a connection mm -hmm. they don't understand the makeup and how it works once you understand, it's like people. Everyone has a different personality. But once you understand their personality, you know how to maneuver, you know how to work it, you know how to make them thrive and become empowered and encouraged while you're doing the same thing as you do plants, you know? And so it's like when you begin to look at them as a living thing versus just something to beautify in a place, you know, and you begin to give them personality and you bond with them, that's when they start thriving, I believe. That's when you begin to really learn them exactly. At first I thought I was crazy. Yeah, he still thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Man? Yes, I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So Norman's orchids. Okay. And you guys are from California? Yeah. Monster. Wow. So what do you guys specialize in? Okay, so a variety then. Oh. <laughs> oh, and I love the modeling of the leaves of these Phalaenopsis right here. Paphiopetalums right here. Gorgeous colors. Always love the very unique shapes that they have. I love the patterns, I love the striations and the spottings, and of course, you can't forget about that gorgeous pouch. And the modeling of the leaves, always a nice added touch to an already unique and beautiful plant. Beautiful. And 
Oh, look at Carlos, hard at work there. I'm spying on him. And of course, you know, this is Sunset Valley. Had a setne type of orchids right here. So many. And they specialize in Cattleyas and also cat Cattacetne types. Very gorgeous. And you definitely can see the varieties that they have right here. And you guys know my favorite are the Spotty Dotties. I love them so much. Hono Ono Orchids right here. It does say Fragrant Orchids. And as you can see right there, Hono Ono's. Yes, and let's check out the varieties that he has. These right here are seedlings, as you can see right there, being sold for $20. So if you want some seedlings, definitely has many varieties of them, as you can see. Can you see that? And Catleas. Look at this. That's a nice one to have, and they're all $20. So a variety of seedling types of orchids right here. So these are the smaller babies if you're willing to put in the time and if you have the patience, these are definitely worth it right there. So this Denisoniana right here, is it species? It's a species, it's a real thing. Okay. Now because they have many variations, I've seen the lime green or kind of yellowish colors. Like an orange. Yeah, yeah. So is that hybrids or they just come in species that color as well? Okay, okay. They're all over, different regions, different places, they got different colors. Okay, okay. They got the the close to white. Uh huh. It's very dark. I mean, very pale yellow. Okay. It's close to white. That's one another Denisoniana. That's very rare one. Oh, yes. okay, okay. We get, we get more yellow and yeah, orange now. But okay. The pure, very light lime. Uh huh. That's one thing it's hard to find. So, Smiley, what are some of your more popular orchids? What are the ones people are just dying to get a hold of? Right now, the black pearl. The black pearl. Okay. Black pearl. Okay, so this one is the black pearl. So the black pearl I'm seeing has smaller blooms than the right. Millennia Magic. Okay, the black pearl have the little eyes in the center. Okay. Little so little, little eyes. The, yes. Okay. The picture, uh huh. We'll see more eyes in there. Okay. Yes. There it goes. Uh -huh. Yes, I see those eyes. Yeah. And then you see this one is like the raven, the the bird, the the crow. You see the oh, crow. Oh, raven and the crow. Right yes. There. That's the millennium magic. Uh huh. And yeah. they're both fragrant. This is a little bit um, smell like a cough syrup. Oh, okay. Only okay. at night time. In that time you can too. See it. Yes, ginger, smell it. Yes. Ah, yeah. uh -huh. And that one smells like gingerbread. Oh, sweet. gingerbread. Yeah, How sweet. neat is that? Uh -huh. They're beautiful. So intense and dramatic in their black color. This is my special. Oh, so the selogenies are the ones that drive you crazy. Yeah, this one in uh, November. Oh. Every year they come like this. Wow. And the scent is so sweet. How long are those spikes? Oh, That's this ridiculous. one is very long. I think. Wow, probably six feet? What? No, about four. Four maybe. feet? Wow, so those can get pretty, pretty large, guys. Can be, can Lots be of blooms. Yes, the, I got mostly uh, the plant from Thailand, shorter. Uh huh. The plant from Malaysia is long, longer. Okay. It's just a leftover. <laughs> It's just a uh, loss in time. Just uh -huh. come back. Just a tiny one. Oh. oh, I see the tiny, tiny spikes right there. Yes. Nice. And it smells so. I don't smell right now because it's just open. Yeah. yeah. But it's very fragrant too as well, right, huh? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Very nice. 
very gorgeous. And all of your Rinko Stylist Giganteas right here. Yes. And Ritter's one. Orca's right there oh with Linda God. Ritter's trying to run away. But this is her booth right here. Always a wide assortment, you guys know. And she has started selling Hoyas as well for all you Hoya loving fans. A lot of exotic plants here as well, along with many, many endless varieties of fabulous orchids as well. And all you Phalaenopsis lovers, look at this. Wowie, wowie, guys. And look, Papio Petalum lovers, look at this. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous right here. So many varieties, just gorgeous. And I want to know what the price is on here is. Let's see, it says $30 a plant and three or more for $25 each. So $30 a plant, and if you get three or more, they'll sell it to you for $25 each. And I'm telling you, these blooms are huge. Huge patio petalum blooms right here. And just a wide assortment of them. And here are a lot of Oncidiums. Remember I told you guys that I may get some Oncidiums for myself for mounting. I'd like to see how they do in my orchid tree. What do you guys think? Huh? And of course, these are the Saigo Pelums right here. And all these buds ready to bloom right into your beautiful home. Did you hear that, guys? They're going to close the doors in 10 minutes. I was having so much fun and just talking to everyone and enjoying my time here. Now I'm out of time, and I really didn't even get to go shopping at all. But you know what? I did get some things, and I'm going to be here for three more days. So I definitely will find some things. I know I will. You know I will. So definitely stay tuned for more because tonight our show is over. But we'll be back, and we will be back with you guys. And guys, they are shutting down. I cannot even believe it, but I'm on the hunt for Orchid Diva because I know she's here somewhere and I'm gonna have to show you the many varieties tomorrow. I promise because oh man just so many breathtaking orchids. Look at all those bandas right there and orchids everywhere you look guys. I mean endless amounts right there. So, let's go ahead and take a look-see. They have all sorts of supplies here for your plants and also orchids. I mean, you name it, they got it. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. They're closing and I'm still trying to get a peek at everything. But tomorrow, I promise you, I'll take my time and we'll definitely check everything out. Oh, look at this. This just really caught my attention right here. Look at that spiky mohawk right there. That Sansevieria, and this is huge. Look at that, look at my finger. It's like half of the size of one of these. Look at that. All right, and thank you to our wonderful band, Rhythm and Tonic, right? Is that, did I get the name right? Rhythm and Tonic was the Rhythm band, and, and as you can see, I was grooving and I'm moving. I mean, that band and was something else. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get out of here, okay? Party's over. <laughs> and watch, they're gonna have to end up throwing me out because I'm still looking, guys. About to get in trouble here. And there you have it, folks. That was a sneak peek into the preview party. And as you can see, there were tons and tons of plants. And tomorrow, I will definitely take you on a more in-detail tour because I really couldn't. That was such a short time before I knew it, it was over with. But I had such a blast and you see what a great event it was and what an opportunity to shop that it was as well. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.